Hi there, thanks for joining in and welcome to South Bridge. In this video, I will show you how to read Excel file from URL using Fetch API and read Excel file library. As we can see in this demo, here is the Excel file we want to read and it will be placed on the same directory as the HTML file. The final application will be like this. Now let's view the code. So here is the HTML file, it contains a basic HTML5 starter template. We have a heading, a button and the table where we would display the data from the Excel file. Now let's view the CSS code. You can edit this style according to your taste. Or you may create your own style. Now let's proceed to the JavaScript. Now let's use the read Excel file JavaScript library. Let's copy the CDN from NPM website, I will put the link in the description. Now let's get the button from the HTML and we will set an event listener. The event we'll be using is the click event and we will provide an arrow function. You may also declare a function the old way. Next step is to use the fetch API. This is responsible for getting the Excel file from a resource. Be it on the same directory or on another website's directory. In this case, we are accessing the Excel file within the same directory as the HTML document. We are reading it as blob and the read Excel file library will extract its rows. You may also read the rows through the input HTML element like in my other tutorial. Now, the final response will be the rows object. The first thing we're gonna do to this object is to display it in the console to check if we are getting the data from the Excel file. As you can see, we are getting the exact rows data from the Excel file. Next, we want to loop through this object and generate the HTML table headers and the HTML table rows. Inside this loop, we will get the table element. If we are on the first iteration, then we will generate the table headers. If not, then we will generate the table row and append it to the table. We will create these functions in a moment. The last step in this loop is the increment the index. Now let's create the generate table head function. This function will accept two parameters. The first should be the table element and the second parameter is the row object. Now let's create the generate table rows function. This function will also accept two parameters. The first should be the table element and the second parameter is the row object. Now let's test our code. As you can see we have created the table containing the data from the Excel file. So that's it. See you in the next video.